Welcome into the LC Transfer Room. I'm Jack, here today to do a bit of a transfer news roundup for this week in Liverpool football. Obviously, no match last week against Manchester United means that we've been kind of um, on a bit of a withdrawal from Liverpool football, at least. But there's been no shortage of content and no shortage of rumors. Let's get into it. Before we start the video today, make sure to subscribe to the channel, nearing on 1K subscribers, so get involved with us. We're going to have live streams as we get towards the summer transfer window, and hopefully things begin to take a turn for the better for Liverpool Football Club. One of the players and one of the rumors that could be a big part in that is Ibrahima Kanate, a transfer that looks like it's really, really close. It's just a matter of time. It's a quote from Fabrizio Romano, an Italian journalist, one of the best in the business, reporting that a five-year contract has been agreed with Ibrahima Kanate, and it's just a case of when the transfer is done, when the release clause is paid for Kanate, and Liverpool find themselves with another center back at the heart of the defense. Now, still a lot to be remained in terms of will that mean that there's no need for Ozan Kabak's permanent signing? Will that move on Matt's hip? What happens in the heart of the fence is still very up for grabs, but it offers a lot of options for Klopp to try and figure out what he wants to do as the potential partner for Van Dyke once he returns from injury. But Kanate, nearly done, is the headline there. Kanate could offer a solution in the heart of the defense, so with some attacking options, both as options for the first team as well as depth. Starting with a depth option would be Joseph Bercalo, a 22-year-old Croatian linked by Calcio Mercado for 20 million euros. He's a guy who can play in the center as an attacking midfielder, can play on either wing as well. Bercalo currently plays for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga, who find themselves in third in the table. He's playing for a successful side, and he could come in as a good option with some depth. If you want to read more about this transfer, and I get a good look at some of the stats, analysis. Priyasha Bomek has a good article on our website about it. There will be a link to that in the description down below, so make sure to click that and read some more about the potential signing of Joseph Bricalo. Another option that is going to be a bit of a, a recurring rumor from last summer, I suppose, is Smila Saar from Watford. Recently helped them win promotion back into the Premier League. The Senegalese forward was linked to Anfield and was one of their best options, but they chose to sign Diogo Jota last summer in place of Saar due to the 35 to 40 million euro range that Watford won in last season. Now, the 23-year-old hasn't done anything to cause that price to reduce. If anything, it caused it to go up. So if Watford are wanting a similar 40 million euro figure this year, it may be a hard transfer to pull off yet again. But a guy who can play on either wing pretty successfully, the international teammate of Sadio Mane, good friends there. And he hurt Liverpool last year, uh, was one of the big reasons Liverpool's um, unbeaten streak ended at Vicarage Road. An option for sure has some depth. Can't imagine both Bercalo and Saar happen, but one of them could be an interesting option to add some depth up front. Let us know your thoughts on those signings. The fourth player linked to Liverpool is a very exciting one, Jadon Sancho. Not much needs to be said about him. Borussia Dortmund, 21 years old, Englishman, tremendous talent on the borderline of world class, I always say. And he's available for the summer for a reduced fee in a, in a tweet very recently saying that it will be less than the 120 million euros that Dortmund wanted from Manchester United last year. 80 to 90 million euros is the likely range for the 21 year old. That is a much more feasible fee for Liverpool in the sense that it's what 75% of that original price still would be a hefty overload. It's a hefty sale to make. It may require a player like Mane to go and some shifting of the finances from John Henry. But if FSG are to stay, a great way for them to placate a good section of the fan base would be to offer them a nice shiny toy in the aspect of Jadon Sancho. Now, would he join Liverpool without Champions League football? I don't know. Do we have the finances to sign him? I don't know. A lot of I don't knows here, but a rumor that hasn't gone away. And when there's smoke, there's a good chance there might be fire. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure to subscribe for all your updates on Jadon Sancho in the next few weeks. Last room of the day, Mohamed Salah to PSG. It's reported that Mauricio Pochettino sees him as a player to potentially replace Kylian Mbappe if the Frenchman should depart from Paris. This is an interesting one because it's reported that he fits the style of play, would be a successful acquisition for PSG. They could probably offer him better wages than Liverpool, so it seems like a, a good transfer in a lot of ways, but why would you be signing a 29-year-old 29, 29 to replace a 21-year-old? 
It, it'd be surprising to me. Now, as a Liverpool fan, would you take Kylian Mbappe as the replacement for Salah? Salah been one of the best players. He's carried Liverpool this season with 20-plus goals in the Premier League for the last three seasons, this season including. Would you want to see him go? It would be a, a great player to bring in in Kylian Mbappe, but you would be losing one of the best players, one of the best forwards in recent years. Would that be a swap that you would be interested in seeing happen? Let us know in the comments down below your thought on that transfer and your thoughts on all the transfers we talked about today. If there's any players you want us to look at, get some experts on the channel. We've been doing that in recent weeks, bringing on a Dortmund expert, a Southampton expert, to talk about some rumors for some players that have been potentially making the move to Anfield. So make sure to subscribe for all that content in the next few weeks. Get engaged with us in the comments down below and check us out at LLC Transfer Room on all social platforms. But for LLC Transfer Room, I've been Jack. Take care.